Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Elizabeth and I'm a teacher in California. Social emotional learning is an important part of education. As an educator, I am always looking for ways to infuse important SEL skills into my lessons. And actually, I have a tendency to look for ways to incorporate those important SEL skills in our everyday life in the classroom. In part, my job is to help equip learners with relationship skills, help them make responsible decisions, teach them how to self-manage, and teach them how to be socially and self-aware. Research shows that students retain more knowledge and have more student buy-in when a teacher takes an active learning approach to instruction. Have you ever heard of active learning? Well, if not, here's what it is. Active learning is an approach to instruction that involves actively engaging students with the lesson through discussions, critical thinking, modeling, role plays, and other hands-on strategies. Now, some ways that you can do this is by having your students complete project-based learning activities, have daily meetings, you can ask your students challenging questions that require them to think critically, you can create anchor charts about specific classroom rules, and then give the students opportunity to have a voice. And if students are helping to make the classroom rules, they're more likely to follow the rules. Taking an active learning approach places a greater weight of responsibility on the learner than say, for example, a passive approach. So some examples of a passive approach to instruction might be something like direct instruction. Maybe you have them listen to a podcast. Basically, anytime a student is consuming or receiving information from an instructor or a source, and then they internalize it, they are learning passively. Active learning activities range in length from maybe a couple of minutes to whole class sessions. They may even take place over multiple days. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I take an active learning approach as I teach my students important social and emotional learning skills. I am going to be using my view board and an online social emotional platform called Moo Zoom, and I'm gonna teach my students a lesson on rejection. I'm excited to share this with you and I think you're going to have some practical takeaways after you watch the video that you can apply to your life in your classroom today. Are you ready? Let's jump in. So prior to starting my week, I like to look at the SEL lesson on MooZoom. I personally like to download the weekly plan and learning summary to kind of wrap my head around what direction we're gonna be going as a class that week. So there's a whiteboard windows toggle feature that I love using because I can toggle between my view boards whiteboard and any other window that I have open. And here you can see me using this feature to toggle between my whiteboard and windows to create an emotional check-in anchor chart where students can come in and basically draw their emotions. Here, my kiddos are drawing how they feel that day, but this is just an example of how you can use that feature on my view board. Now, I really love this feature because as I'm looking through the SEL handouts on MooZoom, I'm basically able to capture different images and visuals from the MooZoom curriculum and website, and I can build out visuals like anchor charts on my view board. MooZoom has made it incredibly easy to navigate navigate the curriculum as each lesson is laid out by theme and week and each week has its own individual exercises including discussions, quizzes, and journal entries. Now each discussion comes with a printable pointer sheet for the educator that has some awesome suggestions that basically help you get your class talking about the things that they learned during the episode of the web series. And I'll explain a little bit later more in depth about what the web series is, but for now just know that the web series includes interactive videos that kind of act as the foundation for the lesson and the interactive videos put the students in real life scenarios and situations and then it gives the students the free choice to choose their own social emotional learning path. 
Another exercise provided are the weekly quizzes. After you click on quiz, you'll be prompted to select with or without students. And the quiz is a great way to reinforce what was learned during the discussion and the web series. And the journal entry promotes students' active learning by asking them to produce well thought out responses to questions about the web series. While a teacher doesn't need any formal training on the MooZoom SEL platform, MooZoom does provide a variety of pedagogical supports for teachers, including a teacher's guide that gives you everything that you need to lead MooZoom classes, a keys to action resource that covers all five of the Castle 5 core competencies, and this also gives the teachers tangible suggestions to integrate SEL in their students' everyday lives. It also includes a teacher's role guide that will help you understand your role in your students' social and emotional learning. After I've gone over the lesson on the MooZoom platform and I feel confident about the direction that we're gonna be going that week, I start thinking about ways to incorporate the SEL theme for the week. The Keys to Action resource is a great tool for this and it has several suggestions that I actually use daily. For example, one of the first things that I like to do as I'm starting the week off is to do an emotional check-in with my students. However, I really enjoy using my view board in participate mode to let students come up and draw pictures or maybe write a sentence or a word that describes how they're feeling for that day. As I was going through the MooZoom curriculum, I noticed that the keys to action PDF in MooZoom actually suggests that educators provide opportunities for conversation and encourage students to ask personalized questions during these conversations. I love my view board because it's so intuitive and it works with all sorts of file types, which not only makes it easy to use, but it engages the students in a unique and fun way, giving them the opportunity to show the class what they know. And it also provides them with a platform for them to share their thoughts, which gives them that student buy-in. It gives them that voice in the community and it really helps develop within them a sense of belonging. Now you can sign up for a free trial with MooZoom and get an entire lesson for free by clicking on the links down below. So when you click on the links, you basically gain access to that lesson on rejection. At the end of the school year last year, I brought in students from kindergarten through sixth grade. And as a group, we went through the MooZoom lesson on rejection together. And let me just pause and say, it was so powerful. The choose your own social emotional learning path was an incredible way to get the students thinking critically and we started the lesson off by sitting in a Socratic circle and then I asked the students what they understood about the challenges of rejection. After talking as a group for a couple of minutes, we then jumped into the web series on Zoom on rejection. Basically, you play the first video and the video that we saw followed a young student named Daniel and in the story, he notices that two of his best friends, Emma and Alex, have stopped speaking to him. They're acting as though basically he's invisible. And Daniel doesn't really understand what he's done for them to reject him like that, especially without any explanation. And at the end of the first video, the students were presented with two options to choose from. Were they thought that Daniel was happy or Daniel was sad. And then we went into the second video. After the second video, three choices were presented asking what Daniel should do next. So the three choices were to be alone, to ask for an explanation, or to make new friends. So here's a clip of the students watching the web series turning and talking to share their ideas with their friends, and then voting on what they think Daniel should do next. Check it out. Hey, just ignore him. You guys ready for lunch? I'm starving. Just some fly buzzing around. Ouch. Looks like Daniel's friends just dumped him. How do you think Daniel feels right now? Why don't, we, why don't we take 30 seconds and turn and talk to a friend and talk about how you think she feels. Be angry or sad. Go ahead, turn and talk. Raise your hand if you think if you would feel angry. Sad. Because they can't be good. So sad. 
Majority. Yeah, majority. So you're welcome to press that and we're going to see what he does. Emma and Alex and Daniel have been best friends since kindergarten. They see each other every day. Yeah, and now it looks like that's over. Yeah, no wonder he looks so sad. What do you think he should do? So after we ended the web series for that day, I kind of opened the discussion up to the group and then I just started asking questions off of the pointers sheet that I found in the Moozoom resources. And I did a combination of turning and talking with a friend, giving them that opportunity to have a voice, share their ideas and thoughts. And then I brought it back and did more of a sharing with the whole group and the class. And at one point, I asked the group if anyone had ever felt rejected before, and I was really surprised to see several hands go up. So as we were talking, I could see around the classroom several light bulb moments going off in students' minds. I could tell that some students were having inner dialogue about when they felt that way, and then I could see other students asking themselves if they've ever made their friends feel that way. And we talked about ways that basically we can come in as a group and help support both one-on-one -on -one and in group settings, friends who might be feeling rejected. And we talked about questions that we could ask to make sure that we were always including our friends. It was a really, really special kind of bonding moment for our classroom community. To summarize, MooZoom is an incredible SEL platform that is based off of the Castle 5 framework. It is inclusive, it requires little to no educator training, there is zero material prep, it's literally print, click, and go, and you can sign up for a free trial and get an entire lesson for free by clicking on the links in the description. In addition, I'd love to invite you to check out the ViewSonic Education website for more information on my view board. And before you leave, please comment down below with the SEL program you use. Maybe you use the Castle 5, maybe you use a different framework, comment down below with the one that you use. And also comment with maybe a takeaway or two that you are gonna be using in your classroom this upcoming year. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Share this video with your administrator or district. As always, thank you for your support. I'm Elizabeth, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.